me, Michael Wagner, who is the founder of Promotions West, a communication firm. Before I introduce you to Michael, I'd like to tell you a little bit about his background. Michael is the founder of Promotions West, which is a communications firm specializing in public relations, social media, corporate project management, program evaluation, campaign development, media relations, strategic planning. In a nutshell, he helps corporations and community-based organizations to frame their messages, promote their bands, brands, and obtain positive visibility. You do a lot, Mr. Wagner. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Kelly. It's such a pleasure to be here with you. Well, I think we're going to have a really good time because we have so much to talk about. So before we get into how Communicate Your Promotions West has helped corporate and community-based organizations, I would actually like to walk down memory lane with you. I met you in the early 90s when I was a receptionist at KKSF Radio. I was working there with Terry Magnet, who is a very dear friend of yours, who at the time was an account executive there. He would come up to my desk and go, oh, you have to meet Michael. You two are going to do so much together. And I was like, who is this Michael? I, can, I couldn't wait to meet you. And lo and behold, when we met, the magic just hit. I mean, we've been flying ever since. Think of all of the things we've done together. I know, uh, I guess kind of in the later years, what, I, what we've done, I was one of your... Um, instructors that taught financial literacy when we did the Money Wise program through Capital One and Consumer Action. I know that we did, uh, I'm trying to think of some of the things that we did. The Life Reimagined with AARP, where I actually became a state volunteer with you. And you were actually on the board with me with San Francisco State Hospitality, the management program, doing PR. I mean, so we, the. It, it just goes on and on and on. You were one of my fundraisers for the Prime and Prep Culinary Program at the Bay, uh, Bayview YMCA. What can you think of? Because I know there's more, but I just, I don't know. It's just been a wonderful time. My, my biggest memory is of you at KKSF. And I thought, who is this woman who is so intelligent, who is sitting here pretending <laughs> she's got something else going on? That was Absolutely. my memory. And Terry, of course, kept saying, you have to meet Kelly. She's going to do this. She's going to do this in the world. And it was actually him who kept pushing me to do something for the community and to create Promotions West because uh, community groups, especially African-American organizations, were not being represented well. No one wanted to work with them. And I thought, I can't do that. And he goes, you and Kelly are going to be sensational together. And I said, She's not interested. He goes, oh, you wait and see when she really busts out. Oh, yeah. And you did. Well, you know, it was funny because you're right. When I was working at as the receptionist at KKSF, I was all also, as soon as I would hit that button at night to go off work, to leave the job, I was freelancing as a writer for the Sun Reporter newspaper. I was working with the plant recording studio. Uh, you know, this is when I started getting into the music industry. So I, I was doing so many different things. And then I was also working on my self-esteem programs that I was actually doing out in the community, helping young girls with my program, dressing up from the inside out. It's just, you know, so I, that job allowed me the flexibility to, to be able to do some of the wonderful things after I hit that button on off at five o'clock. So let's talk a little bit about, go ahead. What were you going to say? You just reminded me of something even years before that, when we connected, it was when I worked for Tobacco Free Bay Area. Oh, yes. I had never heard the word self-esteem. And you came to this youth camp, which was for a week. And I used to have hair until that time. And you knocked the socks off of those teenagers about self-esteem. And you taught my entire staff about self-esteem and so you really changed our lives so i totally forgot that and it was fun too it was it was a wonderful time and actually one of my little cousins was there and she was so moved and touched by the fact that that's my cousin up there talking about this stuff you know it was just, it was amazing so I'll, I'll never forget that you're right and i had forgotten about it so michael tell me where were you born and raised and what schools did you attend 
I was actually born in the South. I was born in Houston, Texas, and my parents were from New Orleans. And so I felt, I feel, still feel like I grew up in New Orleans because they would ship us off there every school holiday, every summer, because my mom had 13 brothers and sisters, if you can imagine. So I thought life was a party because you were always being fed and teased and the laughter was going on, which reminds me today of the importance of family and, and the love that exists. And so we ended up um, being in Houston where I went to, I went to high school there, um, left Houston because it was unheard of to do such a thing. And I was a bad little boy and forged my mother's name to a student loan and went off to the University of Dallas. When she found out, she says, all right, you have two choices. You can become what I want you to become or appalling and filing a report of fraud. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, what do you want me to be? She said, a preacher or I fell on the floor <laughs> screaming. <laughs> or a